Kathy McLeish here, and this is our third tip in our communication series. And we have already gotten the person we want to talk to off in a space that we've agreed upon at a time when we're kind of in the same mood to talk, and then we've given them our full attention. So the third is a little bit difficult. It's talking about I statements. And it's probably one of the hardest things to put into practice, this new habit. And when my husband and I learned about it and started doing it, we definitely caught each other not doing it a lot more than we noticed each other actually doing it. But even that has a little bit of power behind it to keep each other accountable. So anyways, an I statement well, a you statement, we know what those sound like. You never listen to me. You never empty the dishwasher. You always complain about what we have for dinner, but you never make dinner. Those are I statements and they sound so harsh maybe, accusatory. If I'm hearing I statements from my partner or from my kids, it always puts me on the defensive. So when we use I mean, if I'm hearing you statements. So if I want to change it to I statements, I'm going to think about I feel, I wish, I want, I think. And those are much more softer. And people can't really argue with our thoughts and our feelings. I mean, they can, but it's not as easy to as it is when you're coming back to a, from a you statement. So anyways, it might sound something like, I feel like we don't have good quality time with our children when we spend every weekend at your parents. I feel like when I don't know what's in the budget money-wise, I can't spend um, any money without feeling bad about it. I think that it would be really helpful if we had a schedule for emptying the dishwasher so no one person in this house feels like they're doing it all the time. Those are I statements, and those are very powerful when we want to compromise or move forward and get some change that is going to be positive in our relationships. So our third tip is I statements. They need practice, and you can practice them anywhere. You don't have to wait and just practice them in your primary relationship. You can practice them at the grocery store or work or when you're spending time with your girlfriends. In safe places is a really great place to practice them. And then they become a habit which reaps benefits and gives us more power to get what we want when we're actually communicating in that place, in that right time, with full attention. So those are the first three tips. Move on to number four. Thanks.